why is nobody talking about these flash transitions? I feel like I'm literally the only one on the planet who actually uses these flash transitions. Today's video, guys, we're going to be going over the top five flash transitions that you can be using for your next video or your next project or your next edit, and then it'll definitely help you level up your next video. If you're new here, my name is Adam. I run a video editing platform called AKB Studios, where I help editors streamline the workflow and double their editing speed so you guys can finish your projects faster. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, welcome to the culture and for new videos every week. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video while you're at it go ahead and like the video and let's go ahead and jump right into the video so now we're here in premiere pro and we're going to be using these two clips right here so i just have a guy performing in a music video and to do this transition it's going to be super simple first thing you want to do is go ahead and nest our clips so to do that you want to go to where your two clips meet go ahead and go to the middle so we're going to make this transition 10 frames long so it'll be a pretty quick transition so like i said start in the middle then what you want to do is hold down shift go to the left once go ahead and make a cut right there and then go ahead and go back to the middle where your two clips meet go to the right while holding shift once and that goes over five frames press c to bring out your blade tool like where you want the transition to be then you want to go ahead and press v to bring out the selection tool highlight both of these clips right click scroll down to where you find nest and then press enter and now we're ready to do our transition so the first transition is going to be super simple it's just going to be the basic flash transition there's going to be a few ways that you can do this so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to our effects panel go ahead and locate the search bar we're just going to type in levels so just drag on levels onto your clip and then go to where your two clips meet so the center right and then we're going to go ahead and keyframe if you don't know what keyframing is it's pretty much just animating your effect or your transition to get the desired transition or effect or look so the effect we're going to be working on is going to be the white input level so go ahead and locate it right here depending on the level of flash that you want i just want to make mine noticeable so i'll go ahead and make this 150 and we'll go ahead and press enter then you want to go ahead and toggle on your stopwatch and then you want to go ahead and just go to the left press the reset key and drag it all the way to the beginning where the transition starts just go a little bit to the right just past this keyframe go ahead and press the reset parameter and then go ahead and drag that there and now our transition is done so that's going to be the basic flash so let's go ahead and check that out and what's awesome about this is if you like this transition, you can go ahead and save it as a preset. So all you have to do is just go to your effect, right click, and then press save preset, name it whatever you want, and then you'll have it ready to use whenever you need it. The next transition is going to be the invert flash. So we'll go ahead and just type in invert in the effects tab. As you can see, our video is inverted. So what we'll do is same thing. We'll go ahead and just toggle on our stopwatch for the keyframes. And we'll go ahead, instead of hitting the reset parameter key, we're just going to actually boost this up to 100. Same thing right there on the right side, boost it up to 100 and then drag it all the way to the end. And there's your flash transition. So let's go ahead and preview that. So super simple flash transition right there. And if the transition isn't exactly how you want it, you can always adjust the keyframes and transitions and animate it just how you do want it. I'll go ahead and bring this in like that. So now we have a faster transition. So I'll go ahead and reset that. And what you can also do is you can actually combine these transitions. So now you can see that when we toggle it on, the image gets a little bit brighter. And if you toggle it off, it's a little bit darker. Let's go ahead and preview that just so you guys see what that looks like. So it's just a bright flash. So the third flash transition is gonna actually be a color flash transition. So what we're gonna use is an effect called arithmetic. So we'll go ahead and drag on arithmetic. So go ahead and go to your effects panel, use the arithmetic effect. And then we're gonna go ahead and change a few keyframes right here. So I'll toggle these off and we'll go ahead and change a few effects. So go to the operator and we're just gonna change this to max. And as you can see, it disappears. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and toggle all of these all the way up. So now we have our original image back. So locate your center. And then what you want to do is go ahead and toggle everything on. And then once you're in the center where your two clips meet, just go ahead and toggle off the blue value and the green value to zero. Now we have just a red flash, but you can have a different flash if you want. So I'll go ahead and just use green for this example. So we have a green flash. Next, we want to do is just go ahead and move over a little bit to the left. Then you just want to bump everything back up like that and also create an extra keyframe for the green and then go ahead and copy this and then just go ahead and paste it over here. So what's going to happen is if you guys just go ahead and look at the effects panel where my mouse is so the red and the blue values are going to change but the green value is always going to stay the same and that gives us our green flash effect just like that so let's go ahead and preview it quick little color flash like that and like i said once again you can always combine these transitions so if you use the invert with the green it's actually going to change the color neon green flash effect pretty sweet add the levels on top of that just a dope brighter look 
super cool. And so for the fourth flash effect, we're actually gonna use the VR glow effect. So it's gonna be a glow flash. So I'll go ahead and toggle all these off and we'll go ahead and use the VR glow. So we'll go ahead and type in VR and then go ahead and drag on your VR glow to the top of your effects panel. And we're gonna just toggle on a few things. So what I like to do is I like to bump the radius up to 300. I like to bump the brightness up to 10 so you can see it a lot, just like that. The saturation I like to bump up to 10 as well. And then what we're gonna do ahead and do is locate the center of our clip we're going to go ahead and make our luma threshold toggle on that keyframe and we're going to bring this down to 0.5 so now you can see you have a nice glowing effect right there and then with this one just move over to the left a little bit turn this to one and then same thing with the other side turn that to one then just drag the keyframes to the beginning and the end of your clip then you have a dope easy to make vr glow transition so let's go ahead and preview that and check that out super cool glow effect. We save best for last. For the fifth and final flash transition, we're going to combine the VR glow effect and also our arithmetic effect right here. So let's go ahead and preview these. So we have our VR glow and we have our arithmetic. So with this, you actually want to make sure your VR glow is on the bottom. If you're using a VR effect, whether it's VR blur, VR chromatic aberrations, VR color gradients, VR denoise, whatever you're using, you want to make sure your VR is on the bottom of all your effects or else it'll glitch out. So for that, let's go ahead and toggle this this VR effect off. We'll go ahead and turn our arithmetic on. And for this, I kind of want to make a film burn flash transition. So I'll go ahead and just make this zero and toggle on our red value. And what we're actually going to do now, instead of having it on max, we're going to change it to add. And then we're going to untoggle these and make the beginning and the end clip zero. And now what we have is a simple red flash transition, but we're not done yet. So now we want to go ahead and toggle on our VR glow effect. And you can keep the same settings that we did have before. But next thing we want to do is go ahead and toggle on use tint color. And you can see that there's a white tint right there. And next thing you want to do is just go ahead and change this orange. So I'll go ahead and change that right there. And as you can see, you pull a little film burn type effect. So preview this. So this is going to be the film burn flash transition. Super sick film burn flash if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications dropping new videos every week also guys like the video comment down below what you guys want me to do a video on next and that's going to be it for me take care <laughs>